Hey guys, I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but OpenPilot 0.8.13 is going to be the last official version uh, that works on the Comma 2. I'm going to briefly show you why. Um, somebody had asked if I could try to to add Comma 2 support to 0.8.14. And I was like, oh, I don't know, I've been thinking about it. Well, I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna show you what happened after I did some looking. Hopped into Git Kraken, which is, uh, I'm gonna probably have to find a new, uh, preferably open source, uh, alternative for this, cause its features are getting locked down and it's, well, it's slow because it's um, Electron, so you know, it's using oh, 08 gigs of RAM, and it will run out of RAM if you try to do large operations, like uh, what I tried to do that crashed it when I attempted to select all of the commits um, that had been made since they began removing comma 2 support. So here's where we are, here's where the develop branch is right now. It's in line with uh, with the master branch. It's last updated today. Well, I did the merge today at 3.02. Um, so let's find uh, 0.8.14. Well, that usually works. There we go. So that is, I added a branch for 0814. That was the 23rd, 523, 846. So hold on. Ah, forget it. I can't do that math. Um, that is the cutoff for 0814. Now, let's find where it is that they decided to start removing that comma 2 support. Well, I searched for comma 2 with the number 2, and I got lucky that I did eventually find it. I just want you to notice the scroll bar is halfway down. <laughs> I know that it's uh, one of those infinitely scrolling things, so it's not actually half. So here's our first cutoff. Uh, it was on 418. It's, I love how there was a commit at 808. And then who knows what sort of discussion happened to decide to actually push this. It has a lot of edits in this one file, this one commit. Just this one commit to remove the comma 2 support... It deleted 286 files. Just think about that for a second. And they modified 75. That is a lot of files being deleted. Now, most of that is like the Android support stuff because the Common 2 runs uh, sort of a hacked up version of Ubuntu running on Android. Whereas the Common 3 is running Android... Well, I'm sorry. It's running... Ubuntu almost natively. It's native, but there's a little bit of Android stuff in there still, I think. Maybe? I'm, I don't know. So, there's a couple approaches a person could take to try to repair such a disaster. But, well, let's just take some looks at some of these, some of these files that got changed, that have been changed. Uh, this one is test. Oh, that's a test one. Let's find something. Clocks D. All of the chunks that have uh, something. The QCOM is the was a, a setting that was set for um, comma twos and QCOM two. <sighs> is used exclusively now. Um, because the comma 3 uses it. 
Oh, what else do we got? I mean, you can see they were working on it for a while because they even went through and bothered to remove the um, uh, alerts that involve charging. There's no charging on a comma three. It's got no battery, but then comma two has no battery. They're they're removing. They're not just removing support for the comma two. They're also removing support for the Eon, which arguably is a better device in the long run anyway. So, how am I going to fix this? 75 modified files. And I looked through these files and not everything is completely, obviously, 100% related to what it says. But So, let's just say I revert this commit. Uh, all right, let's look at the commits. This is the remove. That's that remove comma two support. So let's just look at the very next one. It just says logger D prerequisites for Dean Lee logger D OMX encoder. Try number two. But I just want to take a quick peek. Um, you'll notice that the field downscale that op that that parameter is being removed. Now, why does that matter? Well, the camera on the um the road camera on the comma two, uh. It's like a 4K camera. They don't need that high a resolution. So they actually... I do believe they they cut the image that they're getting from that is is scaled in half. Um, that's why that downscaled option was there. They removed the code for the scaling. Uh, but this this line here... Yes, they're, they're changing it to... Instead of just having a descale or a downscale parameter it now has like a height and a width those are good changes but just this little changer to a logger that is a change that is impactful to the comma two that i would have to read through all their little changes they they have things that uh as they add these new features they're referencing some of those 200 plus library files that were removed they have not been perfectly careful with their descriptions, but even then, they are they made the change and they're running with it. And when I say they're running with it, I'm not kidding. First, let's just take a look at the list of all commits. This is pretty crazy. We got 44,000, or 4,460 lines. It's a big file. These are just the commit, the names of the commits and the uh, descriptions. And that file is about 100 kilobytes. This is an actual diff, uh, just a not, it's a not based on commits. It's just based on comparing the files from before they started messing with it until now. And how many lines do we have? It's. <laughs> law lines uh, that's 126,663 lines of diff data which works out to be uh, five oops 5.2 megabytes worth of of code churn. Well, let's say probably four megabytes of code churn and maybe 1.2 megabytes of actual meaningful change. Sorry, I'm being pessimistic. The reason why it's not going to happen, the reason why I certainly am not going to put any more time into it, 312 commits between 4-18-2022 and 5-23, so approximately a month. 
312 commits. Uh, that's a lot of commits per day. And of all those commits, they modified 853 files. This probably gets pretty close to the total number of files in the project. I, I cannot sort through 312 commits looking for any change that might or might not work on the comma 2, considering a lot of these changes actually might just be straight up incompatible. But, uh, yeah, it, I can't. I can't. Maybe somebody can, but I doubt anyone's going to have the time to put into this. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I had, uh, I wish I had better news for you. Um, with regarding the comma two. Now, that's not to say that the comma two is completely dead. It will continue to work using 0813 or older. And let's be honest, the model of late hasn't real the the ai model of late it's not been so great i swear over a year ago i was getting better performance out of that thing so the changes they're making mostly i think right now are to support that absurd comma body uh thing what is the comma body uh well it's uh, it's supposed to be like a, a physical virtual presence thing where they take your $2,000 comma 3 and stick it at the top of a pole uh, with self-balancing wheels. Um, Generally, uh, it seems that this thing is considered kind of an embarrassment, um, especially considering they announced it just as they were saying they didn't have time to support the comma two, which, you know, they're actually going to continue making revenue off of those people with comma twos. They could, but instead they're wasting their time on this thing, but it's smart. I made an image macro, but uh, I'm not the first person to realize what this thing's purpose is because uh, somebody's already happened to. It's already happened to someone. Um, these self-balancing things, when they come across oh, Legos or, or pebbles that you brought in on your shoe or, you know, a chair or, or somebody's foot or a shoelace, or a cat, or a pet of any kind, what do they do? They take a header, and suddenly your $2,000, $3,000, I don't remember, you're suddenly your comma three is now broken, and that's not covered by warranty. Oh, but they'll be happy to sell you a new one. <laughs> that is how comma intends to make their revenue not by making quality products, but by coming up with better ways for you to smash your products. Yeah. I've had arguments with people about the, the de-supporting of the comma too. How I think it's inappropriate, and I don't think it's been long enough. This thing, the comma two is only about two years old. Apparently it's got some design issues and about 25% of them fail. Now the comma two is a hacked up cell phone, uh, that they took the battery out of because when they would overheat before the battery would swell. So they thought they were very innovative in removing the battery. What that means though, is your comma two, as opposed to the Eon is worthless without its customized power board, which is a, part of the uno or the panda that's attached to it without that it's useless with a with a uh, eon at least you've got a cell phone inside if all goes to pot but the comma two aside from staying on old versions worthless there's nothing else you can do with it it's 
dramatically overpriced hardware that was obsoleted very quickly. Uh, they continued to sell it. I've already ranted about this. They continued selling it, knowing full well, w w selling it with an advertised one-year warranty, but they were only going to continue software supporting it for six months. Well, what they ended up doing is they split them, and so there's a there's a master branch where they removed all the support, and then there's a comma two master branch which isn't really getting uh, much love. So, <sighs> okay, well, sorry for having to be the bearer of bad news, but it is uh, not going to happen. Um. Honestly, a lot of the decisions that comma.ai has been making lately uh, have been, in my opinion, regrettable. Uh, but they don't really bother with regrets or, you know, ownership of mistakes. Do, to do that, you have to be able to acknowledge that you're not perfect. And, uh... Some of the people there have trouble with that. I don't want to name names or anything. Well, it's very unfortunate that I can't... Oh, uh, uh, what we may be able to do, though, which will be a lot easier, is backporting OPGM-specific features to our Comma 2 branch. That's probably the best we can do because the new features that came from upstream from Kama, like you said, they're going to be a needle in a haystack f bringing it in. And then what? You know? So, sorry about that. Bad news. Good news is the stuff that I'm working on. I, I sort of been taking a break from active, like, things that users are going to notice and i've been working on uh something that will make development much easier especially for the uninitiated by uh, adding code highlighting for the message objects that will be really nice Co code not just code hi highlighting auto completion all the features that you expect in a modern development uh ide rather not going to show you that that's for another video. Uh, also working on fingerprinting 2.0 uh, for GM. And I'm planning on uh, uh, ramming my car into a fake person again so I can capture some uh, 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 auto emergency braking data. All right. Um, well, guys, uh, thanks to my Patreon supporters. Please consider becoming one. Um, I'm sorry my website is still broken. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do about that, but I'm working on getting it online. And, uh, all of this stuff, it, it costs money I don't have. And, yeah. Anyway. Um, I, 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 I don't, I'm not doing this, like, I'm not getting paid to do this. I, I put hours and hours and hours and hours, like, lots of hours into this, um, and I, I will accept donations, but I don't demand them or anything. Uh, even the most generous person, um, hasn't come close to what, uh, I would have been making at my former job hourly, so... This isn't for money. This is for the love of the community that I do this. But I do need to survive somehow. Or I go, you know... My website goes down. Well, my website already went down. But <clears throat> my infrastructure goes down and I can't make videos anymore. Let's keep that from happening. So, this video didn't need to be 20 minutes long. I'm sorry. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.